Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel Over the Seas. Today we are going to discuss about 10 challenges that we faced after coming to Taiwan. First has to be the language barrier. Even though Taiwan aims to be a bilingual country in 2030, still many people do not speak English and also there are not many restaurants who offer the menu in English and there are not every billboard that is in English. So there are many things that need to be changed for Taiwan to become bilingual. Even though we faced a lot of problems in the initial days later we uh, shifted to Google Translate and everything works just fine and uh, you also have the translate app where you can take pictures and then it automatically translates everything like the menu the billboards the road names basically everything it's like amazing right and also when you get along with people over here after a few years like after two or three years a lot more vocabulary is added to your dictionary and you know you can at least understand what they're speaking even if you can't reply back in the same language just like moving to any other country or any new place you will have this challenge of not having enough friends and uh, missing your family members but that is like a very temporary because once you start opening up to Taiwanese people and uh, you'll know how they treat you then you'll have a lot of friends and uh, even though you don't connect to them like every day or such like that you don't have enough gatherings still whenever you face a problem Taiwanese will be the first ones who will help you out and uh, they really take care of foreigners very well. They'll make sure that you won't miss your family uh, as much. Actually, since we are living in Taichung, it, it's really difficult for us to, you know, make Indian friends or foreigner friends uh, because here the number of foreigners are very less and also the number of Indians living over here are really less and also our timings won't match because, you know, we have this off day of uh, Sunday and Monday and they all have uh, weekend during Saturdays and Sundays, so it's really different timings and whenever they have the gatherings, they always have on Saturday night, but you have to work Sunday morning, so you can't really you know go to those gatherings and all whatever main events that are happening in Taiwan uh, focused around Indians are generally in Taipei, Kaohsiung or anywhere else except for Taichung so it's really difficult for us to you know make Indian friends like that even though Taiwan is an Asian country we'll expect to have a jet in washrooms right but Taiwan doesn't have that they just do the business with the tissue paper always it's really difficult for us to adapt to that and especially when you're searching for an apartment you have to search for an apartment where the hand shower is nearest to the commode that is how you can manage that's all yeah I'm not getting into the details if you're really lucky, you will find some places with the jet. Yeah, you have to be really lucky for that. Uh, the next thing has to be definitely currency because uh, it is new Taiwan dollar over here, which is also known as NTD. In India, if you go to a bank and ask for foreign exchange in Canadian dollars or US dollars or euros, it is probably very easy to get, right? But when you ask for NTD, they cannot really provide you with any new Taiwan dollars over there. So what you have to do is that you have to actually convert uh, the Indian rupees or whatever your currency is to US dollars and then bring the US dollars over here. You can also think that oh maybe we can use an international card, uh, debit card or credit card whatever it is but then there are most of the places like small restaurants and uh, places like night markets where they do not accept your uh, international debit card or credit card whatever it is they don't even accept the local card you have to pay them by cash. So it's uh, really difficult if you don't carry any USD or or any uh, currency to Taiwan. Another difficulty that you will face after moving to Taiwan is that uh, it's really difficult to find an apartment. First one, two years, our uh, Taiwanese friends or someone from work had to help us with finding the apartment and stuff like that. But later for the third time when we changed house, it was really easy for us because we used uh, finan1.com and also there is one more uh, group called Taichung I think Taichung Housing Rental Service something like that on Facebook and you can use those and also we luckily we found a contact of uh, English agent uh, through whom we could find really good apartments and also related to that you have to pay a two months advance and one month's rent that is like compulsory it's like almost you have to keep in three months of rent handy so if you are prepared in advance then it will be really easy for you another difficulty that we faced in taiwan was 
uh, we didn't know where to buy the cheap stuff like uh, you know vegetables when we buy at supermarkets they are really expensive even though we can get organic vegetables over there but if you don't want the organic ones then it's really difficult to buy cheap products or buy cheap vegetables later on we discovered this traditional market so it was easier to get the vegetables for really cheaper prices when compared to the supermarkets and also there are some websites right like shopee or whatever these taiwan is actually use so we didn't know about them and also shopee is a website that is like uh, sells local products and also uh, some products are from other uh, countries but still they are in chinese so we didn't know how to use them we didn't know about the apps we didn't know how to use now we use them using two different phones like we use the app on one phone and then we use this translate app to translate everything from address and uh, what product it is the product descriptions everything every information that we have to fill in that we use the translate and we just select the things like that also there are like 10 dollar shops over here where you can buy cheap stuff or you can say like china market or something like that you get everything over there and some of them even operate 24 hours so it's really convenient it took us some time to discover all this the traditional markets the 10 dollar shops and then the shopee app everything took a little bit of time another struggle that you will face after moving to taiwan is finding a job over here it's a real struggle if you are not an english teacher because most of the listings on 104 job website is of english teachers and nothing else even though there are some it related jobs you still get no response from them and you have to literally translate the website into english then only you can apply for most of the jobs because everything is listed in chinese even for english speakers the job role the job description everything is like in chinese so yeah that's like a real struggle in the last videos when we discussed about the currency we have told you that it is twice right twice a little more than twice it is like 2.5 times of indian currency the expenses also over here are similar like uh, if you get something for 100 rupees in india you will find it over here for like 250 or 300 rupees so even the rents are like that i had to take up a job with much lesser salary when the currency is compared like i was not earning the same amount over here and also also, I was spending one third of it just for transportation because my job was in Taipei and I had to travel to different city altogether and it was like 196 kilometers uh, one way. It was really difficult for me to adapt. We have heard when you move different countries, you have to like uh, let go of this thing and start from scratch because you know, if you are working as a manager in your own country, then when you go to different country, you can have this, uh, like you have to start as an associate or maybe start a different field or something like that. But I had to like cut down on my salary that I was getting, like I had to go below 30 30% of my original salary to you know get a job over here that's what you have to remember maybe you won't get the same position you won't get the same salary as you expect yeah so it's like that that was the struggle we faced but you know after few years of experience you'll be earning much more that is a different issue and also even if you get a lesser amount savings here is a little bit better Another major issue that we faced over here was getting food. It's really difficult when you're outside, you don't have anything else to eat but to rely on this McDonald's. And uh, one more thing that uh, when there is no McDonald's, then we used to search for this vegetable fried rice or egg fried rice. That's not really yummy, but that is the only option that you can get when you are away from, you know, the city. And when you are in very remote areas, then you just ask Chopin and then yeah, dance often or whatever it is. That was what we struggled with. Uh, also, when you are a vegetarian, then it's really a lot more difficult. That's why we also made a video about that. When you search in Google, you can just enter vegan restaurants and not vegetarian restaurants. Because when you enter vegetarian restaurants, you don't really see any options. But when you enter vegan, you can see a lot more options. And also when there are some uh, vegetarian options in non-vegetarian restaurants, they use pork oil and uh, maybe some beef oil or some other products that contain pork or beef inside them. So it's better to choose the vegan restaurants if you are really vegetarian or vegan or really care about, you know, not eating the animal made products.
Another thing is that in Taiwan the weather is really unpredictable till yesterday evening I was wearing shorts and today I have to cover up with so many layers it's little better in Taichung it may rain any time and in winters you have some cold waves coming up so you can't really have a nice consistent winter you will have some cold waves and in, in summers you'll have these typhoons yeah it may change any time just like that but in taipei it's always wet and in winters it's it rains a lot more and uh, you have to carry your umbrella and a jacket with you every time you leave your house so that's like a must these are all the challenges that we have faced and how we have coped up uh, hope you like this video and uh, if you want to know the 10 benefits that you will get if you move to taiwan do check the link out in the description box below we are also attaching the link in the info cards do check the video out hope you like this video please like share and subscribe bye bye and yeah don't forget to comment below